everyone, Ed's and back again. Uh, what I've got today is just a quick video on how I made these little fabric flowers. And I really like them because they're so delicate and they're variegated with lots of different colours. So I'll put them to one side for a second and show you what I used to make them. I used this uh, seam binding <coughs> and it's just plain white. And I used a piece about seven inches long. Doesn't have to be that accurate. About there. Let's, let's cut that off. And then I've got a needle and thread. I tied a knot on the end. The way I tie knots is to just hold it with my finger and thumb, wrap it around, and then roll it to the end of my finger and pull and you end up with a knot on the end. Take the seam binding, put the two ends together. I'm just going to put the needle and thread in about half an inch from the end and I'm just going to sew down the little in and out running stitch to the other side. You can see that. And when I get to the other side I'm just going to do two or three tiny little stitches to anchor it. Okay. Then open up the band which is initially what you've made now and fold over, you see that little flappy bit that you used to put the ends together, just hold that down with your thumb and then start to do another running stitch sorry I need my glasses um, a little running stitch all the way around that edge Sorry, I'm used to holding this closer to me. I'm trying to do it under the camera so you can see it. Okay, little running stitch all around the edge. It doesn't have to be accurate size stitches. We just want to just do a rough running stitch right around that edge of the seam binding until we get back to where we started from. Almost there. Okay, when you get back to where you started from, grab it the whole thing and just pull that thread tight. When you've pulled it tight, do a couple of small stitches again just to anchor it so it won't come undone. And then when you've done that you can cut off the thread. Okay. Then open it up and you can you can uh, sort of jiggle the the fabric around on those threads that they actually move about so you can space them out approximately evenly. And then when you've done that just press it down firmly. And the nature of this seam mining is that it, it will crease easily and stay put. So we've created a little flower. When you've got enough of them we're going to colour them. And I'm just going to use my oxides. I've got uh, a yellow, a mauve and a pink. I've got a couple of extra flowers here that I made earlier. And I put a little bit of the oxides on the plastic or on your table. And spray it with water. then just 
kind of just dip it in like that. You can see the little bit of colour on there. Um, and because it's wet now it will soak in and, and, and cover the whole flower or almost cover the whole flower. And then we're going to take another colour. I like to have them yellow in the middle so I've got my yellow here and I'm just going to put that directly on the pad and press on the middle with my finger so I get a bit of yellow and then give it another spray. And you just keep doing that until you're happy with it. Might introduce a little bit of pink. You only need a tiny, tiny bit. A little bit goes a long way. And if you find you get too much on there, then I'll give this one a good soaking, just to show you. Don't worry about it, just get a tissue and blot it. And that will take some of the colour back out of it. And when you've done that, squeeze it again in the middle and kind of gather it together and, and roll it together. And then just open it gently and it will put those nice um, creases in there for you. Okay, so... There's one. We'll do another one. I'm going to do pink on one side and more on the other. Again, I like the yellow in the middle. Just give it a little spray. And then put them to, to dry. And that's basically all you do. Last one. Right, there we go. Now when they're dry, you can put a little um, pearl or a little diamond here, something in the middle. These ones are almost dry. I'll just grab a little diamond here. And you would glue it in the middle there like that. Okay, that's all there is to it. And I really like them because I think they look so pretty and delicate. I'll show you a couple of things I've made with them. Um, <clears throat> I did these tags which are on lace and the lace I just stiffened with some PVA and let it dry and then cut out a tag. And I put some glitter around the edge and then just put on three of the little flowers. hope you can see that. Anyway. Um, these ones are the same. I added some leaves. A little round one. And these ones I, I cut out of some organza. And I think they're so delicate. They would look really nice on a page with the, the writing showing through.
Okay, so that's it. Nice and quick and easy. Hope you have fun making some and I thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.